A third extension that I find incredibly helpful for Firefox, which is also available for Chrome, is ColorZilla. And this is ColorZilla.com, where you can read about the ColorZilla extension. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to ColorZilla for Firefox and Chrome. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And this is going to tell us about what ColorZilla is available to do. Basically, if you think about your eyedropper tool that comes in Fireworks or it comes in Photoshop, the eyedropper tool will let you pick out a certain color on your web page. And in the old days, before we had these eyedropper tools for our browser, we would have to take an image or a screenshot of our web page and then put it into Photoshop or Fireworks. And then we'd have to sample with the eyedropper to find out the color code, the hexadecimal code, and then we could put it into our web page. Well, what ColorZilla does is it gives you this eyedropper tool and you can sample the color right here inside of your web page to get that hexadecimal code and then you can just go right on with your coding. That way you can save all that time of opening up another application so you can figure out what color you're looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and install ColorZilla 2.8. Disallowed it so I'm going to allow it. There we go. And then I'm going to install now and I'm going to restart Firefox. There we go. So ColorZilla is now installed. And the way that I would use ColorZilla would be I would right click on my web page and ColorZilla will be here in my contextual menu. If you're on a Mac, use a command click. And I can pick my color picker from here. So gosh, it looks just like Photoshop, doesn't it? What I can do now is I can use my eyedropper here. I can select another color here right from my color palette. So that's a very helpful thing. The other thing I can do is I can say eyedropper and let's say I want this color here. Notice the bar that shows up at the top of the screen. This tells me exactly what shade of green that is, both in RGB values as well as in my hexadecimal color value there. If I click that, I've copied it to the clipboard, that hexadecimal color, and I could now go to my code and paste that color right into the web page incredibly helpful, It'll save so much time. So ColorZilla is something else that you're going to find really helpful for working with. It can also generate color palettes based on a certain website. There's a gradient generator you might have seen an allusion to here. There's much, much more about ColorZilla than I can cover in a single video. But again, this is one of those tools that I find absolutely indispensable when developing inside of my Firefox web browser and when working with Joomla. So go check this out and see what you think about it.